So it's Saturday afternoon and we're heading to the gardening shop to pick up a few plants. Uh, so I spent a few hours yesterday going through uh, plants that are good at detoxifying the air, pulling out pollutants, uh, formaldehyde, VOCs. Got a pretty comprehensive list here. Uh, there's about 15 or 18 plants on there. Just go through and get some of the uh, inexpensive ones. Put some in the bathroom and the living area and that. And um, yeah, it should be cool. Uh, I might turn it into an article in a few weeks time, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, so today I'm going to make pate out of these uh, chicken livers. So these are organic, 100% organic uh, chicken livers, antibiotic free, hormone free, GMO free, chemical free, chlorine free, it's interesting, chlorine free, uh, free range chickens from Bostocks in uh, Hawke's Bay. I really like liver in my diet uh, from a health point of view. I've talked about how you use this liver powder in the past. I'm actually quite low on that today. Um, so I want to whip up this pate, but it's funny because Rebecca's made this before. I've never made it before, so it's going to be an experiment. You anyway, know, in the past, like, I got found when um, I have that pate with like the actual liver. I, I almost feel a little bit better afterwards compared to when I have the liver powder. I'm going to give it a go at uh, making some myself. I'm going to mix it up a little bit and add some like uh, mushrooms and bacon to it as well. Let's get into it. Alright, so I've got some onions and shallots on the oil there for uh, cooking away. I'm going to add um, garlic, but I don't have any. And then I'm going to add the chicken livers. Um, and then I'm probably gonna add some mushroom and a little bit of bacon as well. Once it's all cooked, put it in a food processor, blend it all up, uh, add a little bit of butter to that, and then um, put it in the fridge. And while that's happening, I've got um, I got some chicken broth that I cooked uh, this morning that I'm gonna turn into soup for dinner, so. So I got the mushrooms there, probably a little bit too much, but anyway. Uh, I got some shiitake mushrooms, and um, some shiitake mushrooms over there, and some butter mushrooms. So I'm gonna chuck them in with the bacon and the uh, onion, and then the liver's going. All right, so the chicken, Liver mix is done. Uh, you give to eat that just as is. Um, some people would, but that's not what I'm doing this for. I'm going to make pate. So what I'm going to do now is put it into this food processor, mix it up for a bit, add the butter, add the salt and pepper. I meant to add cream, but I don't have any. Yeah, it's not really the best uh, recipe, but it's kind of a, a guy thing, more for function rather than a taste and all that fancy stuff. But no, I'm sure it'll taste good anyway. All right, so let's go do this. All right, so it's looking pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is add in some of the butter and blend that through. And then just some salt and pepper. All right, let's have a look. Looks good, at least in regards to, uh, to liver pate. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, pour this into 
into this dish. Just grease it up with some butter. And then um, I'm going to leave that in the fridge for a while to let it set. And then I'm going to cut it up and free some of it. Sweet, so that's all done. And uh, in case you're wondering, that's, if you're thinking that's a lot of pate, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. I think I overdid it with the uh, mushrooms and the bacon and the onions. And um, that's what you get when you don't follow recipes. <laughs> and make it up as you go. So I'll leave that in the fridge for a while and we'll, we'll come back later while I do the dishes and finish dinner. Oh, and in case you're wondering what it tastes like, I know you're not meant to have a pate warm, but it's actually really good. Like, really good. You could have that just on its own, warm. Maybe I'll have some with dinner. Alright, so I pulled it out of the fridge. Rebecca's already cut a little, little bit out. She said it tastes good. So all I'm going to do now is slice that up, put it in bags, chuck it in the freezer and um, leave some in the fridge for us to eat this week. And that's my little bit of thing. So this week's book is Tribe of Mentors by Tim Ferriss. Actually this was a gift, uh, so thank you the person who gifted, gifted me this book. Uh, but yeah, it's funny, this this time last year I got another book of his, it's called Tools of Titans, and that was like my summer holiday read. So uh, I got this um, Christmas time this year as well, uh, another book of Tim Ferriss, and um, yeah, it's been my summer holiday read. However, I've decided that this book, uh, I'm not gonna read start to finish like I usually do, um, because what happened with the Tools of Titan book is it was just full of notes, you know, like every second page was like, oh, I need to read this, or I need to go check this link out, or this website, or it was a quote that was really powerful that I need to think, want to think about and stuff. It was just too much. It was like, oh my God, it was like stimulation overload. So it's similar with this book, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to read this all in one hit. Instead, I'm just going to leave it here in my reading room, or in the living room, or next to my desk, or whatever. And just every now and then throughout the year, I'm just going to read like a few pages and um, use that as like ongoing inspiration. But anyway, if you haven't read any of Tim Ferriss's stuff, check it out. He started with like his book started with like the Four Hour Work Week or the Four Hour Body or something like that. Um, he's got some amazing books, and also his podcast is really really good. And as he continues to grow, he's meeting more and more interesting and um, very knowledgeable people. And a lot of these people's thoughts and ideas are in this book. So highly recommend it. Uh, if you've read it yourself, let me know below. Uh, let me know your favorite page or your favorite um, guru or mentor, so to speak, because I'll, I'll skip ahead to it and read that. So I'm gonna go read a little bit now. So I'm sitting, sitting here on my uh, patio, which is now becoming a bit of a jungle. Check this out. Got tomato plants coming up through the, the deck here. But anyway, I've got um I got some parcels today and uh, it's a bit of a theme. It's anti-radiation stuff. So what have I got here? I've got some uh ear tube headsets. Instead of using your typical like headsets which have the wiring going straight into your head and then little speakers, this is all happening down here, and then that just pumps air into the Headset, so you don't have that um, electrical device right in the head. So, the second thing I got is from Faraday's.co. So this is, I think it's a Kickstarter campaign. Uh, I'll put the links in the notes below to, to their Kickstarter. I don't know if it's ended or not, so you can go have a look. But I think you can also go direct to their site. Uh, so it's the Faraday's Boxer Brief. Boxes. Like so. But they've got a silver lining panel inside it and the idea is it will um, block EMF electromagnetic fields uh, exposure into the uh, sensitive parts which is important because that's been shown to reduce um, spin count and testosterone and I'm sure it's gonna cause a whole ton of issues in regards to health and wellness and fertility and cancer later on in life so um yeah, I mean, I haven't tried these yet. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to quantify it, maybe using my cornet meter and doing some testing. Uh, but 
yeah, they, hopefully they work and um, I'm sure they're not going to do any harm. Um, so yeah, definitely when I'm traveling and stuff, I think I'm going to be wearing these uh, because on a day-to-day -day front, I actually don't wear underwear because <laughs> uh, I just work from home. And I'm just in my shorts, so I don't need any undies. But uh, when, when I'm going out in public, I think all going well if, if they're comfortable and they do what they're meant to do, they may be my go-to choice. So that's cool, exciting new stuff in the world of Alex this week. So quick workout today, uh, I'm just gonna do some squats and push-ups. And that's it. Push-ups I'll just take to failure. Squats I'll work up to get a little bit heavier later in the set, but uh, nothing too fancy. Nice day, so I'll do a warm-up out here before going inside. <laughs> 